Thank you, young man. Morning everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, just out carp fishing today, as you can see I'm just getting set up. Uh, rods aren't in yet, I'm just uh, just been mixing my bait and stuff like that. Uh, just a tiger nut stick mix with uh, sweet corn, tuna and uh, some dry pellets in there. So yeah, um, I'm fishing with Jeff today. So uh, I haven't done carp fishing for over at least five years. Uh, I did have a load of carp gear but like an idiot I sold it all because I didn't think I was going to fish anymore. And then Jeff taught me into going fishing. So. Uh, Luckily enough, I kept a load of, load of my basic stuff, so uh, still had stuff uh, in storage ready to come out. So yeah, I thought I'd just give it a uh, cat fishing to go to deck, so um, like I say, it's been absolutely yeah since I've done it. A couple of ripples coming up on the water, so uh, yeah, it's only a small venue as you can see, like I say, just a big island in the middle. Uh, it's not that big, but like I say, just somewhere to come and test my gear out, because I haven't um, fished for that long, so before I start going out night fishing on carp and stuff like that and doing overnighters, uh, we thought we'd just come to a small venue just to test my gear out basically just to see if it needs updating on it or anything needs to change on it but uh, yeah got a big bag of ground bait there like so there's me uh, ground bait there mixed up ready to go in my um, PBA sticks but I'll show you all that when I get set up I didn't show you setting the rods up next that'd just be boring obviously got uh, leaders on but like I said I'll show you all me set up once I start getting fishing properly and get me brolly and stuff set up just because uh, it's supposed to be showers today so I'm going to put the brolly up just in case and uh, yeah we'll get on yeah like so I hope everyone's having a nice day so yeah, just thought it would be something different. Uh, just a cheap bar of there out of that for absolutely years, but does the job. Uh, brolly in there. Obviously it looks a bit chaotic now, but once I start fishing in there, get the brolly up, I'll clean it all up so it's all nice and tidy. I uh, can't remember where everything is in my bags, because uh, obviously I haven't used it for that long, so I'm still trying to remember where I've put stuff when I packed it away last time, like my oaks and uh, hook links and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, we should get there. Once I start going through it, I'll start coming back to me where uh, I was set up and stuff, so yeah, so I'll get the rods in the water. And then um, I'll start getting the rest of the stuff out. <coughs> Hope you can see me. Uh, yeah, there's me uh, hook links. Uh, just PVA stocking. Put that up there for now so it's easier. I'll uh, just show you how to set these up. Uh, should have brought the table over here actually. Um, two minutes. Obviously, once I get set up, it'll be a lot easier. But uh, yeah, just take this out with you. Hopefully, this is Onyx. Like I say, I haven't used it for a long time. Just the same as everyone else uses, basically. And I uh, just shot a load of stuff in the end. I don't like to say I need a piece. Look, piece up. Look, look a minute. Hold your hand up. Push that through. I can tell you I'm done for a while. A bit rusty. Yeah, just a little knot in that. Yeah, until it's a while since I've uh, done carp fishing like. Do another knot and then it's ready for the next go. Sorted in a minute. So, yeah, just get two grains of sweet corn. This is how I do it anyway. I'll see sometimes I use pellet or sweet corn. Uh, I have got boilies. Run this venue, you're not allowed. Done that wrong, sorry. I can tell, like, so it's been a while. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I've got boilies, but uh, on this menu you're not allowed to use boilies. But uh, to be honest with you, all the times I've ever used boilies, I've never ever caught on a boilie. I'll just put two on. Was it? Yep. There you go, and pull it off there. Cork this needle through the stick. See the, uh, this tree on the corner? You see? See this tree dead in front of me? Which yeah. That's just to cover the link. Sweet. This just connects onto this quick link here. Yeah, more fingers and thumbs at the minute, like I say, I haven't done this for a long time. And that connects onto the quick link like that. And this sleeve normally just goes over that like that. And all that does is stops it coming off. And then there you go, there's one bit. So I'm just going to do that with the other hook. Obviously I'm not going to fill them up because it's all the same thing, so yeah, let me get casting. I'm already into a fish so good luck, keep it pretty small. Oh, it's always when you're busy doing something. I know, yeah. <laughs> So well, first calf, I was just setting stuff up and the uh, rod went off, which is typical. So we'll just get it out. 
told you a small one like that was special, but fish is a fish. Det er bare med suks. Nå, det er godt. Nice little carp. Det er kun about 5 pound. Jeg er nok gående bare på vei ned, så er det ikke smålen. Men det er absolutt beautiful fish. Så jeg vil gjøre denne tilbake. Og så vil vi gjøre det opp igjen. Jeg kjenner det å gå over der for nå. Now I've only got one rod set up at the minute, I haven't had time to set the other rod up yet, so uh, we get them back in. <laughs> uh, it's moving away nicely, so uh, I'll get my uh, stuff set up and then I'll uh, recast back out. Now yeah, everyone, um, put the Umbrella up. Uh, it looks like it's going to rain because uh, it's getting overcast now. So I bring all my stuff inside the umbrella if it does uh, thingy. So yeah, uh, like I said, that little carp out earlier on, so wasn't too bad. First fish of the day, so at least I'm not going to blank. Uh, not that it's about blanking and stuff. It's just about coming out and enjoying yourself. Uh, it doesn't matter about the size. Like I'll always say, size doesn't matter. So um, yeah, so it's just what you catch on. Well, even if you'd like to say you don't catch, it's just nice to be out and fishing by a lake. So yeah, like I said, just main reason today is to test all my gear before I start getting back into it properly. Uh, probably buy some new reels because them reels are years old that I've got on there. Um, obviously get myself a proper bivvy tent and a bed ready for the night. And, uh, I think that's all I need really. I've still got all the bait and everything. Yeah, like an idiot, quite a few years ago I thought I wasn't going to fish anymore and ended up selling all my good gear. Uh, my good rods and my good reels. But uh, yeah, at least I've still kept some basic stuff back just in case that I needed it, which was good. So yeah, just going to continue fishing. I'll just show you a quick show around and show you uh, how I'm set up. So yeah, there's my two rods there. Uh, like I say, the norm mate, no brand that both called cool rods, I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, we just bought them cheap, like I say, years ago, because my partner used to fish with these all. Uh, just the Broly up Michigan. What a nightmare to put that thing up. So I can't wait to get a bivy. I'll go and show you Jeff's stuff in a minute. Little table there to cook on and stuff. Speaking of cooking, I'm going to get a coffee on in a minute. And then some bacon and eggs. Uh, bags there, just tidied up a little bit there, obviously if it rains, I'll shut everything in. Who knew come out there? But yeah, like I say, nice uh, little lake, island over there. Yeah, I've got one rod straight out towards the island and one rod to the left into the middle where I caught that last fish. So, yeah, just using them little PVA bags with corn at the minute. Uh, and uh, we'll see how we get on. See, this is uh, Jeff set up. He's got all the top gear, like a tackle tart. <laughs> I haven't got top gear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like so you just need the basic stuff really to get going. I've got a car boot kit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, all the cheap brands. Aye. Doesn't matter how expensive your kit is. Fish will bite on the right bait, won't it? Yeah, yeah, aye, definitely. Right. Yeah, doesn't matter what size fish you catch as well, does it? Even if you catch or not, it's just in, out enjoying yourself at the end yeah. of the day. I'm just trying to find. Aye, nice yeah. little bivy, that like, like, so I'll definitely have to get a bivy. Yeah, that's his day bivy, and then uh, he does have another bivy for um, for uh, doing the night. Uh, yeah, like, say, so if uh, we get any action, I'll uh, bring you back. Oh, if Jeff gets any action, we'll run over here and see what Jeff gets. So. Fucker all like you. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just going to sit back now and relax for a bit and see what happens. Uh, Jeff's got some uh, carp care kit there as well. Yep, so any, you... any ulcers, any Aye. hook, any bleeding, anything like that, just add a bit of this onto it, make sure the fish is all right before you pull it back. Aye, I didn't know you'd had that, because that fish I just pulled it on one of its scales missing. Yeah, I've got, so... I've got another one as well, so no, right. any more like that. Yeah, yeah. But you've got to always make sure you've got a decent landing net. Yeah, yeah. Things like that. And then uh, make sure it's wet as well. Yeah. So the landing net's got to be wet, your unhooking mat's got to be wet. Right. Keep a little bucket of water or a jug of water with you. Just make sure the fish is all right and we're sorted. Yeah, yeah. Look after the fish and hopefully they'll grow bigger and better. Aye. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just look uh, after the fish pulling back properly and stuff like that. Obviously keep them out of the water. As minimal as you need, just get your picture back, picture with it or whatever, and then put it straight back. Uh, don't keep them out for ages. Yeah, you see people like uh, youngins, obviously. I was probably the same when I was a kid catching fish. They keep them out for ages trying to get pictures and all that. 
and obviously it's no good on the fish but uh, obviously you learn as you go just same as everything else so yeah just get them back in as quick as you can so yeah I'm just going to sit down now probably get a cup of coffee on the go and then um, yeah a cup of coffee and I might make some bacon sandies later make myself a cup of coffee while we're waiting uh, no action yet again like I say probably lucky to get that one as early as we did there's a lot of thrashing about I think right. two or three jumping around, so I'm hoping they are, they've already spawned. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping it's the sort of venue that closes when it's spawning. Ooh. Give the fish a break. No, yeah. Nice right, coffee. Now, not a bad venue, like the first time I've ever fished this one, so. I think it's just a new one as well, so it's not established properly yet, so I think the carp are about 10 to 15 pounds at the most, like the bigger ones. Yeah, I will have a look. So yeah, it's going to finish my coffee. And yeah, see if see what comes. But yeah, you don't need to buy all the expensive gear, like say my stuff I'm using is not expensive. It was only cheap stuff. But yeah, still does the job. At the end of the day as long as you get in the right place. So yeah, like I say, just nice to be out enjoying yourself. So it's not all about the catching, same as when I go shooting, if you watch my videos, it's not all about the shooting, it's just being out and uh, passing time and enjoying yourself. So I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm going to get some uh, bacon and egg buns on the go. Jeff's into one. That was on the single red pellet. Single red pellet? Yeah. I just hope my tying of knots is as good as I hope. <laughs> I hate you got it here at all. I'm just shy of double figures now. Hey, it's been weeks since I've had a carp, so I'll take I'll take you at F1. <laughs> I can't tell what carp, sometimes they look huge and then you wear them and there's not there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very simple. There's a water boiling. On a four inch hook length method feeder. Right, I'm going to put the camera down now and help them net it. Oh yeah. Look at the state of your belly. There you go, look. Lovely. Right. So it's a lot of width. So what we do is, obviously the net was wet. The map was all wet. Just give a little bit of water. There's no injuries, no bleeding. Belly, mate. Just soft. Nice He's ready to burst. <laughs> no, yeah. I reckon what? Eight pounds, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Right, nice, Alec. I've got some scales there, but I think I'll get her in the water as quick as I can. Eh? Right. <laughs> there it goes. Nice and safe. Yeah, they haven't spawned yet. So right, it'll yeah. be hard to catch. Yeah, uh, they haven't spawned yet, so. Might be a bit uh, tight for biting, but no man. At least we both got one. So none of us are going to blank today. No injuries. Yeah, yeah, no injuries or not. So, right, going back and finish my coffee. <laughs> nice catch, Jeff. So there, uh, bacon and eggs on the go. See if uh, Ridge Monkey.
Yeah, it's right. What have we got, like? I think Jeff's also doing another fish while I'm doing this, but we're going to have a look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just turn you down and look at this. So proud. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. That'll be beauty. That'll be beauty. I'm doing it, Jeff. Do it again. <laughs> Little tiny fish. Just took a massive bloody pellet as well. <laughs> the big one. So it's long. Another rigs it up. Hmm. Get this on the run and get it cast out. Got a few handfuls of pellets out there just to see if they see if they come in close. In Jeff. Right. Yeah, yeah, I just want Mm. So that called the helicopter rig then or what? No, no, just the running rig, that one. Oh, you see what's coming? About uh, seven pound I reckon. I'm not going to wait like six or not, but doubles. But yeah, pretty pleased with that. Nice fish in here, like. So we get it straight back in. No injuries on us? No, no. I'm sorry. Oh, put a bit of spray on the mouth there, look. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Thanks for looks. Um, not much, not much else happening at the minute. So that was a tongue twister. But, uh, yeah, like I had a couple of carp. Jeff's getting little tiny ones at the minute. Uh, pulling some small ones out. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I've had two uh, all right uh, carp. Like I said, they're not massive in here. I think the biggest they need are about ten, uh, about fifteen pounds. So, but like I said, it's not all about the size. It's uh, just having a nice day out fishing. 
Uh, yeah, just like I said, just checking my gear, see what I need to wear. Uh, if I need to change anything over or update anything, but uh, probably update my reels. Then obviously, if I do do night fishing, I'm going to need a bivvy. But uh, yeah, apart from that, on the bed. But um, apart from that, I think I'm happy with everything else I've got at the minute. So yeah, so yeah, we'll just see about what happens. Uh, I'm going to leave these out another couple of minutes. Some cool smashing about there. Yeah, leave these out another few minutes. Uh, while you drink me coffee, then uh, if we don't get out on these, I'll swap the uh, to the halibuts rather than the corn. I'll put a halibut pellet on the end of them, and then uh, put a big bag of um, PVA halibut pellets on, so it leaves a nice little pile of bait round it. So we'll see what happens. Typical, isn't it? Jeff's in again, as you can see. For a little fish, they fight well in here. Right. That went off a bit. Great to read. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Again, one, one single uh, red robin on the pellet band. And the corner of the mouth there. Uh, only small carp at the minute, but uh, it's really good condition. His tail's bloody chewed up, mate. Got a fight in you. Hmm? Just take the tail there. No, it's been uh, tucked by something, hasn't it? Or caught it on something. No other injuries, though. Yeah, no. apart from the tail. No yeah, it's got a bit of tail missing. Good little fight, fighting fish in here, like. I was making my arm here, cut like. Hi, hey, love the next fish. Hi, hey, Barbara Sooks. Obviously, I always use Barbara Sooks. There we go, nice little common. Uh, going to give this one a quick wait, it's not that heavy like, but uh, it's pretty decent size. Yeah, I've already wet the sling as well, so it should be alright. Just make sure he spins alright. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be double, well I know it's not double figures, but we'll give it a go and see what they like. Just under six pound. Just under six pound, so not big. They look big, but uh, obviously there's no weight in them, so um, yeah. So we'll get it back. Yeah, it's a decent-sized fish, like pretty big, but uh, 
There's there, no waiting them, so we get this one put straight back. How big is this yard? Just under six pounds. They're all looking a lot bigger than the yard, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, good. That was a good fight. That I thought it was bigger. Yeah, yeah. I uh, changed to a bigger bag now. So now uh, we get this one linked on. Put on the loop. Uh, I don't know if that camera's picking the link up, but like I said, I showed you on. Just link it onto the bit there. Hook it round. And what I do is just put a bit of rubber silicone over the top like that just to protect it. And then obviously it makes the hook a little stiffer. So yeah, we'll get this one in. Oh ah, yeah, um spot on there or something. Yeah, the fish in this lake um they look bigger than yeah, like I said, I just weighed that one because it gave me a good fight. And I felt like a bit of weight, but then when I weighed it, it was just under six pounds. So, um, yeah, they look pretty big, but there's uh, no weight on them. But uh, absolutely immaculate fish. So, I uh, enjoyed this. Like, I'll uh, definitely be doing this more. Like I said, I packed in about five, six years ago, carp fishing. So, this is my very first session, carp fishing. Uh, definitely be getting back into this fishing again. Like, uh, I don't even know why I stopped the first time, I think, because you had um, that many hobbies going on. I'm not fishing on yet to uh, pursue my other hobbies, so uh, yeah, I won't be doing that again. We say get some more kit, and um, I will go from there. But uh, yeah, like I said, I won't fill them every take, I'll just uh, fill them the fish because obviously uh, it might be bad unless I get a good screamer. Right, everyone, uh, right hand rod. I've turned it over from the bag of pellets at the top and a bit of ground bait in the bottom. The pellet, halibut pellet on the bottom hook. Uh, this isn't catching out on corn, so I'm going to try it in the pellet. And uh, the rig I've got is like a lead on a cord a clip. And then obviously that's just a running lead, that's free, so when the fish takes it, it can run. And obviously if the line cracks off, uh, the fish will ditch the lead, and the lead will be no longer there, but yeah. So we'll get this cast in, see what this one does. Here's Jeff in again. Took me all over there. That was only about five pounds as well. See the bubbles, I know, yeah, mine was. was only, didn't have to give a fight, but uh, it was light as a feather. It's already come off twice. Look for small cat, these are... Yeah, the fight like. Good fighting. Mm -hmm. I've got some more on. Nice, that like. I fed that whole spot up for ages, mm -hmm. haven't I? So it's, mm -hmm. that went straight away, that you know. As soon as Mephophilia was in. Yeah, yeah, go and see that's one you just cast as well, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, it's a pretty fighter, this. The paddle on him as well. Uh, another nice fish. Mate, it's not a mark on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Plenty of commons in here, like, isn't it? You what? Loads of commons. Yeah. There must have been commons. Right. I don't think I've had a mirror. I can't remember if I've had a mirror. That's yes. uh, lovely, that. Not a... Nice and lean on it as well. Not a mark on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at the paddle on that. Aye. Uh, beautiful. That's immaculate, that like. I'd say nine, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's raving, yeah, yeah. Really nice. Thank you for the fight there. Lovely, Look that. that. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Slang. <laughs> Jeff into another one again. He's only just cast in and he's straight on, so. He's definitely on the spot. So I'll go over there and help him get it netted. Just let it tie itself out. That seems like go. a decent one, that. First time this rod's gone off at last. Just in the middle of nowhere. Hmm? There's a big reed bed here, look. Oh, nice boils in the water there. Here we are, we'll get a net. Oh. Clever this bugger. Mm. Well, they know where they're going. Straight in there, look. 
Look at that. I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the bigger ones in here, like. Oh yeah, nice one that one, eh? Well, I'll definitely know where they're going, like, don't I? Head up, head up. Right, right, yeah, right. baby. Nice. That's oh. oh, a nice one, that, like. Oh, my God. Got some weight on it. Yeah, yeah. Got we'll weight there. Uh, it's nice, eh? Should do. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pellet oars, I think they're called. Mm. That was on the crab one. Nine pound. Nine, nine pound. It fights bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. Nine pound fish, look. Where the hell? I thought it was double that. Look at the state of it. There you go. Yeah, nine pound. That looks a bit bigger than nine pound, like, bro. Fought bigger than nine right. pound. Pretty decent size um, fish, but they look uh, a lot heavier than the win. Like, bigger. Right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This is where I fall in. Well, just, just had another fish, uh, fish there. Uh, he's doing really well, Jeff, so he's definitely found the spot where they are. Uh, I've had no more bites at the minute. Just getting my rods knocked about and stuff. But uh, just go and have a bake steak. Something to eat. And then um, I'll eat this. And then I'll bring my rods in and uh, put some fresh bait on them. And uh, yeah, see what happens. I'm going to cast one right towards the island because I'm just fishing in the middle. And one right on the margins, I think. And uh, see what happens there. So go and enjoy my pasty. Yeah, the fish in here look a lot bigger than the way. Like, say, you pull them out and um, they look like close to doubles, and when you wear them, there's an out on them, so... Yeah, pretty deceiving, but uh, they are good fighters, like. And, uh, like I say, the fish are pretty uh, good condition as well, so... Now, this is um, Hilton Lakes, just near your yam, if anyone's interested. Yeah, everyone. Um, just a quick update. Uh, it's gone absolutely dead now. Not getting on bites, anything. So yeah, it's died off. Uh, Jeff had two early, two bites earlier on good runs. Uh, just as he was winding them, he lost them. Uh, one of them looked like a really good one as well. Uh, he had one out, but I couldn't get on video because my camera died. So I've had to charge the battery again on my camera. So um, yeah, I missed uh, that one. But yeah, he's had another one out since the last one he had out. But um, yeah, I'm casted over towards the island now. Uh, it's where the bites seem to be coming from when we do get them, so, uh, and I've put quite a bit of bait in just down near the margins as well, so later on I'm going to keep one rod on the margins and just leave it there, and then uh, just keep the other rod casting towards the island, but uh, yeah, at the minute, uh, going absolutely dead on this lake, uh, no one's catching anything I don't like that, but uh, yeah, like I said, um, we'll see how we, how we get on, so yeah, I'll keep you informed, if uh, anything else turns up at the minute. Yeah, absolutely stunning day, like, keeps on going overcast and then the sun comes out, but then it's overcast, but, uh, hasn't rained yet, so that's been alright. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm getting loads of twitches and loads of lamb bites and stuff like that, but, um, not really running with anything, so, it's a bit, uh, finicky and it's just a small fish messing about with the bait and stuff, I don't know, but, hopefully we'll catch some more by the end of the session. Right, surprise, surprise, just for a change, Jeff's caught another one. I've just, <laughs> I've just made him a rig with fluorocarbon. He's not out in the water five minutes and he's got a fish on, so let's have a look see how he's doing. I don't know, I didn't see it there. Oh, that's a nice fish. Right, I'll get it in that Tom and Smith. Fish. Is that it, 10? Just over 10 pounds. Jesus. Right, hang on a sec then. Let's see if I've done this properly now. Probably not. Right, nice that leg. Got some growing that, aren't they? Aye. Nice 10 pounder. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, 
Tell us gun anyways. Right. Tell us gun. Right, that one pulled the oak, so uh, we'll get back out there again. Nice one swimming about there with uh, the babies. Beautiful, beautiful beds. Hopefully they don't go through the lands. It's got to be crossed, double close. Yeah, yeah. Got a photo of her. Nice little fish. Come in a cap. Nice leave out the garden, innit? Yeah. I'm just zooming in and out for you. Just need to get. Yeah. Come on. I'll move that up. Yeah, just move the net. Shoot up. I thought it was going to be double like. That'd yeah, be close. Eight. Eight pounds. Mm. I deceive it, aren't I? Yeah. Good fighters for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, eight, eight pound calf. So. Uh, like I say, they do look bigger than they are. I think for the size. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Well, everyone, uh, last minute carp, but uh, just as we're packing up, as you can see, Jeff's already nearly packed up. I uh, just need to put all this away now, but uh, yeah, had a good doubt. Like I said, it's been well over five, six years since I fished for carp, and uh, really enjoyed myself today. So, it's uh, 
Jeff has had a proper blinder today. He's had quite a few carp out, as you'll see on the video. But uh, yeah, absolutely enjoyed it. So we're going to get a bit more gear, like obviously a bivy, uh, bed and stuff like that. And uh, do some overnighters, I think. But yeah, absolutely love today. Uh, like I said, it's only a small venue, but the carp in here, absolutely stunning fish. Uh, no marks on them now. Like I said, they're not giants or not like that, but um, it's not all about the size. It's just about getting out and fishing. But, uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.